I didn't want to have my soccer career taken from me. It doesn't matter how much I play when I get back. It doesn't matter if I score any goals. It doesn't I just wanna get back on the field and I wanna get back to practicing with my teammates. I was diagnosed with aplastic anemia when I was 16, so the fall of my junior year, and I honestly had no, I'd never heard of it before being diagnosed. You have heavy chemotherapy, you feel nauseous and weak, and you're in a hospital bed for five weeks. But then once you're out of the hospital, you, you think, oh, I'm back to normal, right? Like everything's good as new and, and you're not. You're still severely immunocompromised, so you can't go out and do things. And I was stuck in this like perpetual pause almost. And so that was really hard mentally, just kind of struggling with staying positive and optimistic when everything that I took for granted is suddenly like taken from me. I think the second time, I just had a way better mentality looking into it. I was really fortunate to have a, a match sibling transplant in my older brother, Ryan. We kind of have this bond that no one can take away from us now just because he, he literally is part of me. My parents and my family were a really competitive and determined group. We don't give up. My dad, whenever I would say I can't do anything, he'd be like, what was that? And he'd sit me down and read me a poem titled Can't. Yes, you can, you don't give up, you, you, you persist and you keep, you keep going through it. Iowa, the other way. Oh, Jenny Kate, number 19. As the years have gone on, and especially with this whole second relapse, I think the ability to focus on the things you can't control, your mindset, your determination, how you spend your time, just all those things, I think I've been able to really kind of develop those skills because of what's happened to me. Something that I've been able to kind of hone and refine over the years is kind of just compassion and just empathy for other people going through difficult things. I have this platform being in Division I athletics and I know it's a rare disease, but I'm sure that there's thousands of people who are struggling with the same thing. And so being able to just kind of inspire hope and positivity and awareness for, for the people who don't feel like they have a voice otherwise. I always kind of was interested in health sciences when I was really little. I loved animals and I wanted to be a vet. But then I saw firsthand how much of a difference doctors are able to make for their patients' lives. I just got into Medical College of Wisconsin, which is a school that's affiliated with where I was treated, Children's of Wisconsin. So that was kind of like full circle and we'll see what happens. I'm Jenny Cape from the University of Iowa and I'm a 2022 Rare Disease Champion. <laughs>